Hey, what up fellas? It's been a little while, huh? I've hit a couple bumps in the road here and there, so it's been slowing me down a little bit on the fishing and videos, but we're back. We're back, and I'm about to show you guys something for the very first time, exclusive. You just can't make fun of me, all right? Used to be my bedroom, but now I'm showing you. This is my fishing storage room. What do you guys think? Beautiful, beautiful, right? Check it out. We've got the carpet, which is perfect for eating up some nice treble hooks and <laughs> we just have all our tackle everywhere check it out box spring mattress the number one thing to put your rods up against we've got the decorative popper on the doorway just in case if you walk by it too close you'll get snagged up and you'll end up having to go to the emergency room so there it is there it is fellas what do you guys think of that it's, it's beautiful isn't it what i want to do today is i want to get back out there and get a feel for how the fishing is. First up, we're hitting the jetties. And since I haven't been out there in a while, we're gonna go with the tried and true lures. You already know what we're going with, the three ounce spoon, perfect for some good old redfish. And also, next up we got the good old clear DOA shrimp. We out here at the jets, man. This probably this is the longest time I've gone without going to the jetties in probably like the last five years. But we're out here now. We're gonna see what's up, man. It's not looking too bad out here. Should be some redfish at least. And I cannot complain. December, 80 degree weather. Some people would complain about that, but I'm I'm all in for it. If the three ounce spoon doesn't get us anything, then we're in trouble. We also got the small rod though. There could be some trouts out there. Oh, someone's got it, dude. What do we got? What is going on? Catfish? I have no idea what it could be. Is it even a fish? It's... Yep, catfish. Let's go. Oh my God, I almost stuck myself. This is dangerous. Let's just use the pliers. I'll show you the expert way to get a hard head catfish off the line. Obviously they have those spikes that can get you. Here's how you do it. Bang! Okay, it didn't work. Ba -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, there's a fish. That's a nice trout, dude. That's a nice trout. Dang, dude, he just went and freaking got it. It's a decent trout, man. Let me get my, <laughs> this is how I fight a fish that I really want to catch. I just let him do whatever he wants. Got the grips. Oh man, I wish I had my freaking spikes on. Look how wet and slimy it is down here. We'll risk it for this fish. It's a nice fish. A nice trout, dude. Not a giant, but a, it looks like a kind of a fat one, too. Oh. Where can I land it? <laughs> this is a trophy. This is a trophy for me right now. Oh, that's a nice freaking fish, dude. That's a big one. Golly, that's a fish, baby. No way. That's pretty freaking big. It's way bigger than I thought, actually. That's why I got the grips. So we don't risk dropping it. Bang, look at that fish, dude. A decent freaking trout right there. What do you guys guess? What do you guys guess on length for this, this girl? Pretty nice one, dude. I'm super happy for first fish right there. I'll take it. <laughs> and of course we got it on the clear deal way. Yeah, when I, <laughs> I was gonna say, one of the nicer trout I've caught this year, but I actually caught a nice freaking 27 earlier. And that's pretty cool, considering we had that giant freeze where we lost a bunch of, bunch of big trout. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this bait. It looks like nothing. It looks like a really dumb bait. It's one of my freaking favorites, especially at the jetties, man. It's just so good. I've tried tons, tons of different shrimp lures that a lot of them look way more realistic than this guy. But something about this, it just gets bit. One thing that does happen with these doughways is when you start working it, casting it, getting bites, 
it will slide down the hook like this. I don't really mind, I still get bites when it's down there, but I think it does look better like this. Some people say they'll stick a toothpick, push it up like this, stick a toothpick there, they go through the little eyelet to hold it in place like that. No more bites on the DOA shrimp, so we're going with the big rod. You're just gonna chuck it right here. Let's see if there's any reds. Oh, that almost felt like a fish. Well, that's Dallas. There's a fish, wow. Are we rolling yet? Yeah, we are, baby. We came back to the DOA. DOA shrimp, we hooked up. Dude, they, they're hitting it like crazy aggressive. This is not, I don't think this is a, as big of a guy, but wait, he's trying to pull a little bit. Imagine, imagine it's a hardy boy. It's a short, it's a trout, it's a freaking trout. Another fat boy, not as long though. Man, that was a good strike though. Bang, man, they're getting, they're getting fatter boys. They're getting fatter for the winter. Woo wee, look at that, look at that belly. Got that DOA shrimp in there too. Let's see if we can get some more of these guys. Another bite, wow, there he is. This might be a little bit better guy. Woo wee, fat. That one's bigger for sure, it's way bigger, yeah. Man, this has got a lot of meat on his bones, too. It's a handful. Not a bad guy, not a bad guy. That looks like a bite. It looks like a bite. Oh, it is. Oh, I'm, did I get him? I did. It's feeling real weird, though. Pinfish! Let's go! Got some blue, some yellow. Well, there it is, checking out the jetties. We caught some decent trout, some decent trout. You know, we got to check out the jetties, and now, we head out inshore, and even just on the drive here, I'm seeing some birds working out there in the bay, so I'm a little bit excited. Let's get out there right now. Well, I don't know how it happened. We've already, we've already been boating for maybe two miles, but we've got a freaking brown tree lizard on our engine. I just looked back and he's just, I, I guess he's been up in, in there the whole time. I don't know if he was just on the boat or if he was like in the engine and came out, but he's along for the ride. He, he's probably in the worst spot too. He's on the motor taking all those vibrations. I'm afraid though, if I try to move him, he'll just jump off. I used to catch lizards all the time as a kid. Let's see if we can still do it. I mean, he should be chilling, right? Oh yeah, he's chilling. Look at him, look at him. Don't go anywhere, bud. Hopefully my boat doesn't go anywhere. Stop. Good luck, Chief, I believe in you. You're gonna be all right, bud. You're gonna be all right. Maybe. Get out of here. Oh, dear. he doesn't wanna go. Why, he's cr calling up me. There you go, bud. Get out of here. There he goes. He's a Spartina. He's not a tree frog anymore. He's a Spartina lizard. <laughs> I don't know why I said frog. But... There he is. Dude, there's fish up here, boys. There's a bunch of fish up here. It's, what is it though? It's looking like it's gonna be a trout. Yeah, little trout. It's nice to, if there is a bunch of fish here, and I think there are, it's nice to see some freaking trout, huh? Like schooled up trout? Yeah! Hmm, not a, it's a, shoot, that's almost a keeper. Maybe it is, right about 15. <laughs> Not a big guy, but I'll take it. We're using the egret wedger. All right, 
see a big fella. Wow. But we are using the egret wedge tail. We have it on the weedless hook. That weedless hook helps us in shallow, obviously, so we don't catch the weeds, but also unless you use a little bit more weight for casting, and since that weight's in the middle, it does not sink as fast. A little bit more natural. Should be about to catch them right here. Oh yeah. Oh my, I think we got hit on the fall. <laughs> yeah, oh there he is dude. There's a lot of fish in here. My gosh, I think it's absolutely stacked with trout. The question is, if there's any big guys. If not though, if they're all keepers, even just 15, 16, 17s, I'm definitely gonna take that. I think they're all, Judging from the two I've caught right here, it's looking like there's gonna be 15s, but you never know. There might be some big guys in there. Might be 16. Skinny boy though. Compare compare that guy to the guys we we're catching at the jetties. It's a skinny boy. Oh, there's a guy on the Dean. There's a guy on the Dean. Feeling a little weird. I think it's a, I think it's a smaller, I don't know, he's fine pretty good now. He might just be hooked weird though. What are, what are you, bud? It's a red! No way! That's cool, man. I was gonna say, this is also, when there's tr trout up here, there's usually some medium-sized reds. Not, not big ones, but lower slot, and then a little bit under slot guys too. Usually there's a lot though. So far, only this one guy. I'll definitely take him though. Cheesh, not a big guy, but that's a red man. So far, these fish, absolutely nothing to write home about, but after, after a couple of weeks of not really, not even fishing hard at all, it's nice to catch some fish, man. Yes, there's still a lot of mullet all around my boat right here. Those look like bigger ones, but there are smaller ones that are hopping around. Those are the ones that are getting scared by the trout. Oh, there's a guy. Oh my God, it's the dinkiest guy so far. Far and away, the dinkiest dink. And that might be, oh, actually he's not as small as I thought, but he is very small. That might be our cue to leave. I thought he was gonna be like eight inches. He's a, he's a, you know, a 12-er, a nice 12-er. Well, fellas, we did exactly what we wanted to do. We got out there and saw what was happening with the fishing. We got into a couple fish at the jetties. Not bad, man. I'm telling you, that DOA shrimp is pretty killer at the jetties. Maybe I should be using it more inshore as well. But man, been a while since the last video. Uh, some of you guys noticed, and man, a couple of you guys reached out. I really appreciate that. I didn't expect it, but didn't get the chance to respond to all of you, but I do appreciate it. I'm, I'm doing fine, man. It's just, you know, a few truck problems that have been plaguing me for a while. Hopefully the truck problems stay in 2021 and, uh, you know, 22, 2022 is a good year. Love you guys very much. See you guys later.